So today we're going to do a little bit of flying. We're going to choose an aircraft, uh, have hopefully landing on 33, and we're going to take it from downwind to base to final. We have only one aircraft approaching and that's approaching on 24, so we're going to start playing for the moment, but we are not going to choose that aircraft. I still don't see anything coming on 33, so we're going to wait. This aircraft that you see here, approaching for 26, is already on what we call base. If it was here, that would be a downwind approach. So let's take these guys off. And let's see this guy that is now on base will turn to final and we're going to see the runway. And here we go, we see the runway and we see aircraft uh, uh, departing. I certainly hope we're not going to collide, but you know, we're going to move inside this aircraft there, that Boeing 757 in a moment, and follow the downwind and then base and then final approach and landing. You can see the two aircraft uh, taking off and uh, we're not in a collision danger. So we're going to move and here we go, we're going downwind and that means that we fly parallel to the runway we're going to land but opposing the direction we're going to land. In just a moment or two we're going to take a sharp left turn and that will take us into base. But in the time, same time you can see what I'm talking about. You see, this is our runway and we're flying parallel to our runway opposing the direction we're going to land. So in a moment or two we are going to turn and we are going to turn left to what is called base. And as you see, we're making a sharp turn to base. We're going to level off. We still don't see the airport because the airport is right here. But now we're flying at 90 degrees to the running way we're going to land. And now he made just a correction. And he's going to make another sharp turn that hopefully will put us in the heading of the runway. And now we turn from base to final. At this moment we're looking at the runway and uh, we're getting ready to approach and land. And here we are landing on runway 33. and we're going to exit the runway. These, these letters indicate, it, they're like uh, street signs. B-15 is an exit, so we're going to exit on B-15. In aviation language that would be called Bravo. So if was a controller was talking to us, it would say take Bravo 15 to the gate. And now we are off the active runway, we are on taxiways on the airfield. And we would be handed to ground control from the tower. The tower will no longer be talking to us. This is some of the problems with the game. Uh, the realism is not there.
So we're going to the gate, but let's get in inside that aircraft now. And you can see there is an aircraft taking off in front of us. And because it's a turboprop, he's going to take up off fairly fast. As you see, he's already rotating. Rotating means leaving the runway and going up into the air. We haven't started rotating yet, but we'll start rotating right at this moment. Alright, let's go back to the field and see if we can find something interesting to do. So as you can see, we're behind this guy, so let's change view so we can follow him closely. I'm going to tell him first to cross, then we're going to go inside and tell him to cross so we can follow him. Technically, he, he is not doing well because this is a do not cross line or the hold sort line and this guy actually has passed this line so he is not correctly and for us some reason he doesn't want to listen to our command there we go we follow him because I gave him an order to cross before we switched Again, I'm not really playing the game now, I'm just giving you the perspective of a pilot. And often here, we're going to have a controller telling us to simply follow this aircraft to a specified location and will give us your, our gate. So I will say your gate will be A13 or C35, whatever our gate is. As a pilot, I would have in front of me, on my lap, a diagram of the airport which is in essence a map that tells me all the taxiways and the runways so even if I've never landed in this airport before I can find my way to the gate I'm going again the graphics are not fantastic but this is a very fun game especially if you want to learn about aviation without necessarily having to fly the plane so you can learn enough before you move for example to a flight simulator Let's move these guys out so we actually have a, a gate to go. Now, in this instance, Departing aircraft in general have the priority over arriving aircraft unless the arriving aircraft has a medical emergency or some other form of emergency. This is not necessarily hold true for this game, but it does hold mostly true. Most of the time aircraft will stop for departing aircraft. And here is a Concorde arriving, we might want to look at that. Oops, we are turning to our gate right now. Again, the realism is not very high here. We see no windows and we see a very crude gateway. But we do see some crude vehicles that will come and service the aircraft. Overall, the process is fairly realistic, however. The moment we stop, you're going to see the jetway start moving towards us. And you see this is very crude, not realistic at all. Let's tell this aircraft to leave, let's move them around because we are impeding their progress right now. And here is a Concorde. Zero, zero, 
Let's see if we can clear the airport. So I'm going to send him around. Well, actually, let's extend the approach first. And by extending the approach, that gave me the chance to let this aircraft take off while avoiding an accident. So extending approach is a very good way if you are tight and you want to move aircraft out of your way. This is indeed a very fun game and mildly addictive. Here we might have a collision and we did because I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. And now I want to have an intentional collision by just lining him up, which means stay on the runway and then go inside this aircraft and see how that looks from inside. At this point, of course, a real pilot will initiate a go around. He will not need the controllers to tell him to go around. But this game at this instance is not very realistic, so we're going to crash in this lined up airplane. This is the reason I, I said in another video never to line up so this is not spectacular, it doesn't show us anything from inside. I hope you did enjoy this uh, little demonstration and I will try to find unique ways to continue showing you aviation from within uh, games and explaining to you how real aviation operates. Thank you for staying with me and watching this new video. Please like, subscribe and comment and ask me any questions you might have related to either the game or real aviation. I hope to see you in another of the videos soon.